my kitchen. Today, I have a very exciting video for you all and I'm very excited for this because I was brainstorming videos that I could make that were like holiday, Christmassy, festive-y, themed and I kept drawing a blank because I feel like everything's already been done and everything's like cliche and like super obvious. So then it hit me. What if instead of doing like milk and cookies for Santa, we do a milk and cookie cake for yourself. You could give it to Santa, but I'm not about sharing. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make this epic, epic cookie cake. Watch out, Mrs. Fields. Miss Fields, Mrs. Fields. She's married. Who's Mr. Fields? Let's go. I preheated the oven to 325 degrees and then I greased and lined four nine inch cake pans. Essentially, you should probably use eight because I mean like eight inches because then they'll be like cute and a little taller. I don't have eight inch pans, which is the first time ever that I've not utilized my Amazon Prime account. Not sponsored by Amazon, but totally open to the idea, Amazon, if you're watching this video. I'm gonna start by combining the dry ingredients. We have this massive bowl here with a massive amount of flour because we're not only making like a cookie, we're making like cookie cakes, but like times four, so. Yeah. And now I'm gonna add in salt and baking soda. <laughs> and whisk this together. Now onto the wet ingredients. I'm gonna start with melted butter. And this looks like a lot of butter because it is a lot of butter. Paula Deen, I'm coming for you. And I'm gonna add in the brown sugar. <laughs> oh, the smell of melted butter. No matter what, even if I'm making something sweet, it reminds me of crab. Like it just <laughs> smells like crab. And then the white sugar. And now we're gonna mix this up. Now that that's fully combined, I'm gonna add in the eggs one at a time. We have two full eggs and then two egg yolks. Now we're gonna add in the vanilla, four teaspoons. I'm using vanilla bean paste because I try and be bougie and not ratchet, but this is the, the only place in my life where it translates. Now it's time to put the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. So I'm just using a spatula and scraping this out. In an ideal world, I would have done this reverse, but this bowl's bigger and I don't trust myself not to spill. So we're gonna put it in this bowl. Oh, it's heavy. Okay. <laughs> now we're gonna fold this in together and you're just gonna wait till it looks like cookie dough. Great, it's finally all mixed together. All of that pesky flour is out of my eyesight. It might still be hiding there, but I'm sweating and I'm tired. So now it's time to add the chocolate and find the rest of the chocolate chips here because I don't know if I have enough. I'm doing a mix of mini chocolate chips and regular chocolate chips. Now I'm gonna put these into the pans. I have four pans here. these into the oven for like, honestly, I don't know exactly now how long they're gonna take, so I'm gonna check them at 18 minutes and see. Now we're gonna move on to the frosting, and I thought this would be really cool, especially because we're making it layered, but I decided instead of just like a normal buttercream frosting, oh my God, so boring. I thought we'd play on the whole milk and cookie thing and make a boiled milk frosting, which sounds weird, but it's like a traditional frosting and I've always wanted to make it. And that first starts with making a custard. So into a saucepan, saucepan, that's what it's called. Yeah, into a saucepan, we're gonna add sugar, flour, some milk, and then just a pinch of salt. And now I'm gonna whisk this. I'm doing it off the heat first until it just fully combines. And then we're just gonna keep whisking it together on like a medium low-ish heat until it thickens and it's like custard. But don't walk away from it because then it will, actually I don't really know what it'll do, but like I don't, it'll like burn. Does milk burn? Evaporate? Scald. scald. It'll scald. Oh, and then it gets that really like, gr Ooh. Yeah, no, don't walk away. I finished cooking the pudding mixture for the frosting and I let it cool and I put plastic wrap on the top of it so it didn't get that like gross filmy thing that like things get on the top and then you're like, that's so gross, I don't wanna eat that. So I did that to fix it. Now it's cold, but now we're gonna go on to beating the butter. So 
So I've let it beat together for like five to seven-ish minutes-ish kind of thing. I don't have a great sense of time, nor is my phone nearby. That's why it's in this drawer, but I'm not gonna pull it out. We're gonna go into the pudding mixture and I'm gonna add that in one tablespoon at a time on a low speed, not too fast. Cause you do it too fast, then it sprays you in the face, which not about it. I'm gonna add in half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. This is vanilla bean paste. I feel like we've already, I've already used this today. Just half a teaspoon, right? Oh, too fast. So now that the frosting is done, it's time to assemble the cookie cake. Prepare yourselves, it's about to get insane. Santa's not ready, you're not ready, but I'm ready. Let's go. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Just gonna take one of your cookie layers, put it in the middle and add some frosting. I'm just gonna dollop it on with the spatula and like evenly-ish. This is amazing. I have frosted all the layers and used up all of that frosting and I just really decided that I needed something a little more and I wanted like little, like cute little dollops on top. So I had leftover whipped cream because that's what happens here at my house. So I just put it in a piping bag and now I'm just gonna do like little, like little cute little like dollops. Is that what you call? I don't know. We will see. Cute. That's what I feel like it needed. They look kind of like the poop emoji, but you know what? It's a freaking cookie cake. Nobody's gonna complain. Now I also have some chocolate shavings, and I saw a picture on Pinterest of like chocolate shavings on the base of a cake stand. So I thought it was really cute. So that's what we're gonna do here. Oh my gosh. Oh, one got up here. This is so cute. Should I put some on top of the little nuggets? Oh my God, this is so cute. You're so cute. Ah! This is amazing, this looks so cute, and I feel like we have to cut into this one. And I rarely do that in these videos, solely because I usually bring them places and people would be like, why did you show up with a cake with like a slice out of it? I'd be like, I filmed a YouTube video, and they're like, you make YouTube videos? And then I have to do the whole explaining thing. But today, we're gonna cut it open, also because we have a taste tester. Oh God. <laughs> yes, let's cut it. Okay guys, I'm back with a massive knife, a plate, and a fork, and we're gonna cut a slice. Taylor, this is your cue. I mean, that was a bad cue, I didn't say it. <laughs> Taylor's gonna come in and have some. Taylor? Oh, okay. That's your cue again. This is Taylor. So we're gonna cut you a slice. It's gonna be like an aesthetically pleasing slice, so I apologize if it's too large. It can never be too large. That's what she said. I'm sweating. Ah, I fingered it. Oh my God. Should I use a serrated knife to like shimmy? Cause it's not even. We switched to a serrated knife because I'm struggling. <laughs> oh, oh no. shit. Oh. oh my God, I have to do a whole nother There's cut. Really cut. <laughs> yeah, you do. Ha, ha, almost. <laughs> I need some, I need help. I'm sweating so much. I need like a paper towel under my arm. This is like fucking falling apart. I'm literally like. She makes it look so easy. <laughs> we're, we're not even gonna pretend that I cut that slice and that that slice looks beautiful. We're not even gonna get an inside shot of this. This is literally gonna be It looks really bad. It looks really bad on the inside. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's pretty good. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of this giant, massive cookie cake. I mean, you can make this any time of year. Again, make it for a friend who doesn't necessarily love cakes. But um, make sure you have like, I don't know, a chainsaw on hand at the end if you wanna like slice it. Just make sure you take your Instagram pictures before you do all of this. And if you take pictures and make this, use the hashtag Baking with Megan so I can go through and like them and stalk your faces. If you guys have any more requests for Baking with Megan videos, leave them down below. Happy holidays and yeah, I think that's all of the shameless self-promotion I can say. Great, amazing, goodbye. How many likes would it take for you to get full-on like portraits of me, Lily and Jocelyn? I'll never do that. A million <laughs> likes. Will you? How many likes? 250 likes? 250,000 likes. Uh, 250,000 and you would get a tattoo of all of us like that. Okay. Portrait like this. Okay. But all three. Okay, yes. great. And, and it'll say clever girls. And yes. yeah, okay. And oh that, my god! <laughs> yes. Do you solemnly promise that if this video gets 250,000 likes? 
150,000 likes respectively. Do you both promise? Do you both promise? To get a prune. Yes. And to get all of us on your leg. Tattooed. Clever girls. Permanently. Yes. Permanently. We swear. Swear. Woo! Yes! Oh my god.